flow, jerky, then this, this, this, this, this, this, this, this, this, When you couscous, love it when you couscous, love it when you couscous, couscous, couscous, couscous, couscous, couscous, couscous, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a vlog that I shot while I was in Turkey getting my teeth done. So I went to Turkey in November of 2020. I know it was like right in the middle of the panic at the disco, but I did go there for a procedure to get my teeth done if you saw my last video. This video is about everything that I did while I was in Turkey. Turkey is so on top of their COVID stuff. Uh, way more on top of it than, you know, where we live in the United States. Just, it's not the same there. It's not as crazy as it is here. I stayed in two different places while I was there. One of them was Accra in Antalya. One of the nicest hotels I've ever been to. Um, I didn't really take too much footage of it, but wow, you guys, this hotel was so nice. I decided since I was getting my teeth done, I was going for a procedure, I wanted to stay somewhere comfortable somewhere nice like with a nice view in case like you know I was in pain and I wanted to just stay in my room for the day that's where I stayed was Accra I think it's probably my favorite hotel I've ever stayed in and I spend half my life in hotels for my job so that definitely says something one of the best hotels I requested a higher up room and they said no problem I had an amazing view of the Mediterranean Sea from my room so it was one of the best places to wake up and while I was there, because I booked in advance, the entire stay I think was about $800. Um, it, was, it was less than $90 a night, which I usually don't pay that much for hotels. I usually just stay in hostels or like do something cheaper or, you know, but since I was by myself, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna treat myself. Antalya is just one of the most gorgeous Mediterranean cities I've ever been to. I've been to the south of France, Palma, uh, Barcelona, you know, like I've been to all these places and this is one of my favorites, especially when you think about how much it costs to stay there, is literally a fraction of what we pay anywhere in the United States and that is due to the fact that I think Turkey's government is struggling right now and the value of the Turkish Lira has gone down in the last couple years. So you know, our money goes a really long way there, which is good for us, bad for them. But like, you know, if you are deciding to travel there, it's super cheap. I would say it's cheaper than when I went to Thailand. It's cheaper than, it's about like on par with somewhere like Vietnam, you know, Southeast Asia. And I was probably paying $7 for a full meal and a drink and everything, like amazing. Yes, cannot speak highly enough of Accra Hotel. If you're staying in Antalya, I would highly recommend looking into it. So while I was in Antalya getting my teeth done, I finished my teeth and I decided to go see some sights. Of course, I know we're in a panic at the disco and we have to be super cautious and wash our hands all the time and wear our masks. And you know, I was there for four extra days. I didn't expect to finish my teeth so quickly. So, you know, I went on TripAdvisor and I looked for some stuff to do while I was there. Like I'm walking on the moon right now. If the moon had water, just want to make the most out of this holiday. So I decided to come check this place out. Thermal, thermal water things. I don't know, but you guys, this is amazing. I'm here on holiday in Turkey. I'm also getting my teeth done at Seville Smiles, and I had some extra time after I finished. You know, I booked an extra couple days on the end, and now I'm just here to check it out. Turkey is unreal. 
All right, amazing day here in Pukale. Um, yeah, guys, come to Seville, get your teeth done, go check out the site. Uh, this place is amazing. So glad I came out here. Um, Turkey is beautiful. And yeah, so happy to be here. I can't believe like, you know, you hear a lot of stuff about Turkey in the news and media and like, it's actually such a beautiful and like, seriously one of the coolest places I've ever been to. Uh, I, I will definitely be back to Turkey. I just remembered how to say it. I like took a break for a second, but it's Pamukkale. Pamukkale. Pamukkale. Pamukkale. Pamukkale. Pamukkale. Not Pamukkale. I'm an idiot. The place was amazing and it was actually really cool. While I was there, um, I met this guy named Anil, who you're gonna see in the video. He's this really awesome guy who was working at the area that I was visiting. We ended up striking up a conversation. He told me he lived in Antalya and I was like, no way, that's where I'm staying. And he offered to show me around while I was there. So of course, I would love a tour from a local. So I took him up on his offer to have him show me around and we could meet up in the city and go and see some sites. We met up, he showed me around Antalya, all, the, all these really cool spots um, that I probably wouldn't have went to on my own. While I was there, I had about, um, I think it was like two days left and I had one more appointment at the dentist office, like a checkup. When I went to the dentist that day, um, there's this girl named, uh, I'm probably gonna butcher her name too, but it's Borku, Borku, I believe. Her name is Borku and she's the social media representative at Seville Smile Studio. Super lovely girl, um, we hit it off, you know, we like, she was kind of giving me recommendations, stuff I should do, stuff I should see. We were chatting and she was like, oh wait, but you went to Cappadocia, right? And I was like, nah. I haven't been to Cappadocia, but I know about it and I would love to go. I just, unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it on this trip just because I only have two days and it was, it's pretty far from Antalya, about nine hours from Antalya. So I was like not trying to go on a nine hour bus ride by myself, you know, just do the whole thing by myself. And especially like, it looks like such an amazing site. Like I didn't really feel like I would get the max benefit if I was there by myself. And she's like, well, I think that you should go. And I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm like, I'm not gonna change my flight. Like, no way. You know, no one can tell me what to do, how to travel. You know, I'm very like stubborn when I set a plan, when I'm traveling, it's really hard for me to change it. She's like, no, you need to go. Like, there's no way you can leave without going. And I was like, okay, well, like, I'll think about it. But in my back of my head, I was like, nah, like, I gotta go home. Like, I just gotta get out of here. Go back to my hotel later that day, and I meet up with Anil, and we were gonna go see some more stuff around Antalya. I think, like, we were just gonna go to this, like, cliff lookout that was super beautiful. So we, while we're there, he, we're talking, and he's like, so, have you been to Cappadocia yet? And I was just like, that's funny you asked me that. Uh, no, I haven't gone yet. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go this time. And he's like, why not? And I'm like, well, I only have like two days left. So I'm probably not gonna be able to like squeeze in a nine hour trip. And he's like, well, why don't you just like extend your stay? And I was like, you know, it's weird. You're like the second person to tell me that today. I started thinking about it. I'm like, could I stay? Could I stay? And I'm like, well, you know, I don't really have any reason to go home right now. LA is like super closed down, it still is. I've been home for a month, still really close. And everything is kind of open here and people are kind of living like normal life, you know, while wearing masks and respecting the panic of the disco. So I changed my flight to stay in Turkey and to go to Cappadocia. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love you like la la la la la la la la la. Where are we right now? Cappadocia. Cappadocia. Yeah. Uh -huh. Beautiful place of Turkey. Beautiful Turkey. We just came by bus, like mm -hmm. eight hours, overnight Maybe bus. Maybe six. Maybe nine. 
maybe nine. We're um, we're being tourists and we're just walking around looking for places to take photos, which is pretty easy, given the landscape. Oh, the song yep. of your people. Beautiful. Amazing. hotel at the Instagrammer's paradise of hotels called the Sultan Cave Suites. Honestly, that hotel was amazing, but I don't think you can go wrong with a hotel in Cappadocia. Only because as we were walking around when we got there, it was just amazing hotels like everywhere. The service was so amazing everywhere I went. Um, people were so nice. There wasn't obviously not a ton of tourists, but there was some tourists there, but I would say it was relatively empty. We spent a good part of our day looking for a hot air balloon ride because you don't go to Cappadocia and not take a hot air balloon ride. You know, like that's like the bee's knees while you're there. I had the genius idea of having Anil ask for the prices for the hot air balloon ride because I just had a feeling that TripAdvisor was charging too much. Um, it was baseline $100 per person on TripAdvisor which you can book it that way if you want. But I had the bright idea of having a local who speaks Turkish do the bargaining and try to find us a good deal. Because once you get to Cappadocia, you can just walk around and there's pretty much a hot air balloon company on like five on every street. They all go up every single day at sunrise. And I had Anil go do the bargaining and he ended up getting us a deal where I think we both paid $50, which is almost half the price of what they charge tourists there. We ended up getting a really good deal and then we pretty much just hung out the rest of the day, chilled, and got up at like four in the morning to go get in a hot air balloon. Ma 
Sollu varacaksın. Neyse sağa doğru çekerler. No catch. Bize çok Teşekkürler. Great, what did you think of that? It was really funny and that's enough. <laughs> it was, if you want, it was I can funny. speak Turkish a lot of. Yeah, you want speak Turkish, yeah. Okay. Anybody can understand. Like, um, I'll put subtitles. Merhaba arkadaşlar, çok güzeldi. <laughs> uh, biz çok eğlendik. İlk defa Bolan'a bindim. Ras'la birlikte. O da ilk defa bindi. Ras, uh, what do you think about the balloon? Um, I loved it. And... An experience I'll never forget. Şimdi kahvaltıya gidiyoruz. Çok acıktık. Bu arada saat e, 6'da kalktık. 6'da kalktık. Şimdi bir kahvaltıya gideceğiz. Görüşürüz. Bye. Bye. Bye. Bye. Down below I'm going to link all of the stuff that I did. The trip advisor to Pamukkale, the hotel I stayed at in Antalya the hotel I stayed at in Cappadocia, the hot air balloon ride, everything so you guys can go check out the prices on your own and see that going to Turkey is really inexpensive if you're coming from, you know, United States, Canada, super affordable and a place that everybody should go to. They're really on top of their COVID stuff. I mean, definitely check with the CDC to see what's going on right now because it has been about two months since I was there. Tourism is a huge part of Turkey's economy and they are really suffering during coronavirus right now. So I think that has a lot to do with how much the value of their dollar is right now. So, you know, as soon as it's safe to travel again, I highly recommend going to Turkey. Turkey was amazing. I did the hot air balloon ride. I extended my stay and I'm so glad. I just want to say thanks to Anil for going with me and thanks to Borku for convincing me to extend my stay and spend a little bit more time there because it was so worth it and I'm so glad I did. Yeah guys, that's pretty much it for today's video.